welcome everybody to my next video. This is our next uh, collaboration uh, with cooking colleagues all over the world. It's all about Peru, Peruvian uh, dishes uh, and, uh, and recipes. Uh, and because this is a collaboration, please make sure as always that you go into the video description. Uh, and uh, look at the links in the videos uh, my cooking colleagues around the world uh, will also publish today uh, and uh, uh, provide wonderful recipes uh, from Peru. So what uh, uh, have uh, I chosen uh, to cook for you today? It's Causa Limenia. It's so wonderful. Um, you will see this later because it, 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 isn't, it didn't uh, um, uh, taste uh, uh, beautiful, uh, but also it looked like uh, an art picture. Uh, so I was so impressed uh, by this dish and one of my, my sons uh, were uh, around uh, when I have cooked this and he demanded from that day on that I have to cook this every week. <laughs> so this is just uh, uh, as, a, as a teaser uh, what you will await uh, in, in the upcoming uh, uh, video. So let's go into the cooking process. Um, 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 uh, thank you for watching in advance uh, and uh, um, uh, have fun uh, with, with the video uh, and we will see what's the outcome. So, let's go. There are a few steps to go. This is Ai Amarillo. This is uh, the, the paste, the chili paste, uh, which is um, uh, originally uh, in, in Peru and, and, and South America used a lot and it's quite hot. Uh, be careful with this. So, first of all, we have to boil two eggs. Uh, hard, uh, hard. Uh, they, they have to be hard. Then in a mixer we prepare uh, a few, um, a, a little bit of onion, uh, ginger and uh, garlic and we come back to that later and one uh, a sweet pepper. Um, uh, we slice it in, in a few small pieces and put it also in this mixer uh, and we come, as I said we come back to that uh, a little bit later because uh, it's just a preparation and uh, the process um, of mixing it and uh, what we do with this uh, is coming later. So, and as you can see on the right side, I'm looking at the UK Open um, dart. Um, I'm a dart fan and um, yeah, so this is a fun fact in this video. Uh, I'm doing mayonnaise. Uh, I'm not going specifically uh, into how to do this uh, because I think you all know how to do it or you just buy mayonnaise. I do it myself. Um, as many other things, uh, um, uh, I, I love to do it myself and I know what, what uh, ingredients I have. And then, this is the first time I use this I Amarillo, I put two tablespoons, uh, teaspoons, teaspoons of uh, I Amarillo. Then a little bit salt, a little bit uh, pepper and uh, this uh, I met in the... Um, uh, prepared mayonnaise a few minutes ago um, and uh, just uh, put it aside. I made it in the in the fridge because uh, um, the further cooking process takes uh, a few minutes so, so I made it in the fridge. Then one of the eggs uh, you just slice it in small pieces as you can see and put it in a in a bowl um, and uh, wait uh, until the next steps uh, will uh, come. Um, this uh, box on the right side, this is this is this tuna, tuna, uh, and without oil. Please choose a tuna box without oil. It's just as it is, and then you uh, put it uh, um, to to the egg and and uh, make it small with your hands, with your fingers, and so on. Um, because uh, this will be uh, one layer of, of the tower we will build uh, later on. This is cilantro. Just uh, slice it into small pieces and uh, add it also um, to the tuna and, and, and uh, the prepared egg. As you can see this. 
So now we put a little bit of um, uh, lemon juice to give uh, this uh, kind of uh, freshness and a little bit of, of, of acid. Uh, and then here again, it's the next time, I put I, uh, Amarillo into it, just one tablespoon. And in addition now, um, as much mayonnaise as you need to have a creamy, consistency of this uh, layer uh, and for me it was a little bit too dry so I added uh, even more uh, teaspoons of uh, of the mayonnaise and then I was satisfied with the, with the creaminess and with the consistency. This is so uh, full of taste and, and, and flavorful, it's uh, beautiful. Now we come back to the mixer and we just uh, mix uh, the prepared uh, veggies uh, to a uh, yeah, to, to paste uh, as you want um, and uh, we will put this to the mashed potatoes later. Here are they, I, I just uh, cooked them for half an hour, then I put a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a uh, little bit of uh, muscat, fresh um, and uh, it, normally, I add milk and, and cream um, beside the butter into the mashed potatoes, but this time just butter because uh, the creaminess of the mashed potato will come from, from the mixture we just prepared with the uh, veggies. You will see this uh, in a few seconds. So you um, um, have to evenly uh, mash the potatoes and then you add this uh, mixed veggies. Uh, into the potato and this is the third time I add uh, I uh, uh, amar Amarillo. Uh, this is really uh, um, one of the major ingredients in this uh, in this recipe uh, and it's all about uh, Peru. So so this is the original recipe of Causa uh, uh, um, Limeña. So um, uh, I, I, I I sticked very uh, hard to, to the original recipe. And now we built uh, the tower. First of all, a layer of uh, the mashed potato, as you can see. Then we slice a ready to eat avocado into thin slices and uh, make uh, the bottom of the second layer can't see it, um, how I do this in, in this tower, but, but uh, you can uh, imagine, I'm sure, uh, how I made this. Then, the second layer is all about uh, this uh, mixture of tuna, egg, and, and the mayonnaise. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. And then uh, we cover this uh, with the third uh, layer, uh, which is, uh, again, um, the mashed potato. And then the tower is ready. Um, and um, uh, then we just put a little bit uh, of topping on it uh, with a, a spring onion, as you can see in, in the middle of the, of the picture. And the second egg, I just slice it into quarters, uh, put it on this, and, and, and this is, the, we are ready. And this is so beautiful, so tasty, so full of flavor. It's wonderful. Look at this. So cook it also yourself and uh, thanks for watching. So that's it. And if I'm honest, I can't uh, think of that any one of you uh, disagree with uh, that this is a wonderful dish full of flavor. Uh, and I strongly recommend uh, that you try this out yourself. It's uh, quite easy to make, as you could see. Um, there are quite a few steps to make, but every step is not really complicated. Uh, so give it a try. Uh, and you have, of course, um, to, to look at uh, Ai Amarillo, that you get uh, this special ingredient uh, from Peru. Um, uh, and and then uh, uh, go into this recipe and do it yourself, really. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, new collaboration video and uh, I will not finish this video as always um, to uh, say to you uh, 
uh, thank you and uh, please go into into the video description uh, and look at all uh, uh, the links and videos uh, provided from my cooking colleagues around the world so thank you very much uh, and uh, happy cooking <laughs>